Oh my gosh, dude. I struggled for hours yesterday because I was testing this mod out. Oh, that's beautiful. I think it's in there, dude. Ooh, what is going on, guys? Today we're playing BeamNG Drive. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining us. And uh, this is what we do. We play BeamNG. <laughs> So in today's video, this is the DS wheel lift transporter. And basically it, it, it turns like a, a D series into like a, a wrecker in a way. Um, so this is <laughs> some examples. Now I just read this. If you hit shift N, it's experimental wheel lockers. So that's pretty cool. We're actually going to try that. I didn't know that was a thing. Uh, but yeah, you can see that they're doing some pretty wild stuff on here. Uh, but yeah, let's let's get this thing. I've set up a little scenarios. For us uh we're gonna go repo some cars um so let's let's drive into the city this mod is actually a new map and i will put the name on screen right now it is it is one of the newer maps that uh came out recently at least i had an update i don't know when it actually came out but should just drive into the city it's a it's a huge pink car oh it's right there <laughs> okay let's pull up on behind it um just like you would in real life now if you see one of these things coming out for you in real life, um, be pretty scared because in real life, if someone knows how to use this thing correctly, it's they can tow your car from any angle. Um, even if you're like, oh, I'll just park a car in front and behind me, they can literally come in from the side. Let me see if this one does it, if I can do it, like, if the physics work that way. It's like, let's say there's a car in front, right? And then he comes in. Theoretically, right, the guy towing your car could just do this. He would lower the wheel. He would lower it, and then he would come in. Oh, it does do it. Okay. All right, I just got to be better at it, but... Yeah, there it is. See? In a perfect world, that would have been more than enough. But, dang, that's pretty cool. Okay, well, let's let's do this the easy way, right? Just straight, straight back. No fancy stuff. Let me raise this up a little bit, too. Oh, it works on this, the controller, too. All right. Pretty good. Let's go up. Oh, man. Okay. How high is, like... I think that's good, right? Good height. So, shift... In. I think that's... Uh, I may have overdid that. Hold on. I think I hit it so many times, it undid it. Oh, no. I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get it. Okay, shift... In. Alright, looks like we're locked. Now what we do is put our car in park. We're gonna hop out. Okay, now we gotta go over here. And make sure this bad boy. Oh. Make sure this bad boy is in the in the L neutral. There you go. All right. Okay. Now we hop on in here. <laughs> Let's see how. Let's see how this thing does, okay. So good so far. The the couplers are working pretty good on the tires. I didn't know that was a thing. That's honestly awesome. Because that's like a that's like an added bonus, to be honest. See, that's the stuff that we need in these regular trailers. You know, I can go I can rub it on the ground. Where I can, uh, I can lift it all the way up. Oh, I broke something. I broke my wheel. Oh, no. <laughs> Jeez. Wow, that thing is still on there. So if I reset, what happens? Oh, yeah, it just undoes the car. Well, there you go. That thing is awesome. So I'm sure you can put this on any D-Series. This like the the end part or just obviously you'd want it on a on a dually or something. Okay, so this is the map that we're playing on. It's called Gold Coast. It's actually a really nice map, has some drift friendly roads. Uh pretty nice detail. I actually I'm really liking it, honestly. Um, you know, eventually in the channel I want to get a steering wheel and start being uh, really good at drifting. <laughs> it's kinda hard drifting on the with the remote, but um Maybe if I get a steering wheel, I'll be a little bit better. And then I can make some different type of content. I want to do like the, uh, kind of like the no commentary. Like, you know, you can like drive the car around. But in anyways, I digress. Uh, oh no, I don't think I can get up this. 
So I have the stem beko here. This is just a stock stem beko. We'll just lock everything up. We'll go to low gear box. Um, but yeah, we're, I'm trying to get to the city, but I guess I just went the mower complicated way this is a stock stem beko it did well actually, actually not stock i did some modifications to the engine so it's a little bit faster than normal i'm trying to get to the city because i want to show you guys something this mod adds something to the stem beko that is honestly the coolest thing in the world oh did i just drift that oh man let me go back and hide here <laughs> let's unlock the uh we can leave the transfer case on. We don't need the differentials on. Yeah, this thing is pretty fast when uh, you modify it with the stand back mod that I have. Okay, we're pulling up here. Perfect. So we're actually picking up another vehicle, right? This is this is a trailer oriented uh, uh, gameplay today. Oh, where did my? I guess I'm on my own now, which is fine. Okay, we just need to look around. I remember where I parked, but I do and I don't. It was one of these houses. Okay, I've gone too far. Let's turn around. Um, I know it's the main road. Is this the main road? Yeah, it's the main road. Well, that's kind of embarrassing. Okay, it's over here. It's over here. We're going to come over here. Oh, look what I set up. It's actually so funny that I, I forgot where I put it. <laughs> if it was like West Coast, I'd be like, oh, it's right there. Okay, let's back it up. Do we need to lift the trailer? No, not really. Well, if you haven't already noticed, this adds the gooseneck hitch from the D-Series to your stand beko. I mean, that's honestly... That is really cool, actually. I mean, we need to take this stand beko to the... Uh, to the... Uh, John, is it Johnson Valley? Yeah, the the, the, the dunes. I'm gonna hit that. There it is. Okay. Uh, this is the short trailer. So we're just gonna back this little bad boy right on over. Try not to knock down those trash cans. This is a... Oh, no. Okay. This is a... No. Okay. This is another repossession that we're doing. Yeah, that first one was a repo repossession, but... I'm seriously stuck on these trash cans. There it is. Jeez, I finally got it lined up. Now we have this thing lined up here. Let's uh, let's lower the uh, what is it? The world's uh, lowest trailer tilt. I wonder if there's a if we can change that in settings. I actually haven't gone in the configuration menu for these trailers. What can you change? The deck. Lift hydraulics, load. Oh, you can add the stuff. Straps. Bumper. It'd be cool if there was a mod to add a bumper uh, hitch to the actual trailer. So you can have like infinite trailers. All right, so we have the light duty. Yeah, okay, so that's cool. There's not much you can do, but maybe if there's like a, like a, like a faster hydraulics mod for this, that'd be, that'd be interesting, right? Um, license plate. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, I'm really curious. I know this is gonna, I just tilted the trailer, so it's annoying, but it sparked my curiosity. Can I put Jado's? Oh my God, I can. Why is this a thing, dude? <laughs> Why? Why is that a thing? <laughs> does it, does it work? Oh, it does, okay. Oh, it's one of those that just breaks. Oh my gosh. What the heck? I just got like a an achievement. <laughs> well, uh, that works uh, a little too well. Let's just let's just reset everything, okay? All right, we're gonna try this approach and see how well this works. Not too bad. It's pretty good. Let's go back to where we were. Let's let's uh tilt the slow low tilt the low slow tilt trailer. Jeez, that's a lot to say. The slow tilt the slow the slow tilt tow trailer. Oh my gosh. This is the uh the drag version of the the new Hirochi Aurora. Um I am using it in today's video because 
It's unrelated to the next mod, but it will help me. Oh my gosh. That is awful. Oh, I shut it off. We'll leave it in gear. We'll shut it off, though. It is kind of loud. All right, let's go back to the slow tilt trailer. Oh, I, get, I did it. Nope, that's not it. And then that. Perfect. Just bring it back. Let's get it kind of to an open area, and then I can show you the, uh, the next mod. All right, so let me paint the picture here. You just loaded up your new vehicle, whatever it is, you know, on the back of the trailer. But now there's an issue. If you go over a bump, <laughs> there's a chance there's a chance that your vehicle will fly off um, so now this mod combats that issue now when you download this mod you have to come all the way down here and you click right there generic straps now I am gonna give you a disclaimer right now these things are buggy and they are pretty kind of I would say annoying to use at first um, it took me a while to kind of figure out how they really work and how to like really maximize them um like how to get the best use out of them so when you spawn them in right uh if you go into their own like place it like locks your screen you can't move you can't even oh no you could still do that right which i guess they did that for a reason because then you're able to well no because then when you do something like that well e either way either way yeah i recommend you go into the trailer uh, because for whatever reason, when you, you know, when you hit control to do the nodes and you hit like W or whatever, it, it, if you're in, if you're in one of the vehicles, it'll throttle it or reverse it. And you don't want it to do that. The next thing you have to do is actually find the toe straps. Uh, they spawn next to the vehicle, but there's no telling where they're at. I don't see them. Usually if you hold control, you can see their little nodes, but I'm not seeing them. I think they know to put through the ground, which is lovely. Is that it right there? No. Why is that on the ground? That's weird. Mm, okay, let's try to... Okay, I'm, I'm on them right now. I know that. Let's just go to manage. We will remove these. You remove this too. Okay, we are on the side by side, so we'll come back down. Yeah, and 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 just a quick disclaimer: these this mod is very under construction and very new. Uh, the modder itself said that he only did it um, because of the new update. So that it just shows you the update's been out for like a week and a half. So it's it's. It's still a work in progress, but like this is the direction that I wanted. I've been asking for straps in this game for almost two years now. And the fact that it's here is amazing. And it works exactly as... Oh, there it is. Okay. They work exactly like they should. And it's amazing. So you have the strap. Um, I recommend like 30 to 40% strength. Uh, just because if you do any any stronger and you like go through the trailer, it will just launch everything. <laughs> um, so like theoretically, right? If this was real life, you would strap it there. Okay, so now it's strapped in. So now the weird thing is you have to like grab it from the bottom and make sure it's on the actual thing. Oh, it didn't it didn't node. Okay, so hold up. So we'll grab the end of that node. Click it on there. Okay, so now it's it's noted. Is it? Okay, no, it noted to the to the air. Okay, it's going. Let me zoom in a little bit. All right, it's noted. So you grab the end of that, and you put it right there. All right, so now it's gonna stretch onto it, right? So that's good. That's what you want. Now, now we're in business. So what I'm going to do is, since I can just kind of move this over, I want it as straight as possible. It doesn't have to be, but that's that's kind of the, the gist of it. So from there, that's in. Perfect. Okay. So now in real life, right, you would do an X pattern or, or you know, depending on the trailer that you... I did not just launch that, did I? I did, but it's here. These are still very work in progress. Did you actually lift this? 
a hand? Oh, you could actually. It actually makes it a whole lot easier. I like doing videos because then I, I think of things and I'm like, huh. Alright, well, that makes my life a whole lot easier. So can I node? Can I node like that to that? Yes. Whoa, this is actually working really well. What's the next node? Like right there-ish? Dude, if this works. Oh my gosh, dude. I struggled for hours yesterday because I was testing this mod out. Oh, that's beautiful. I think it's in there, dude. Holy crap. Okay, well, before the game crashes, right, we can come in here and, okay, we'll have to... We'll have to go back into the vehicle, right? Or a vehicle, it doesn't matter which one. And then we go into their settings. And you know we're there because when you hit shift, everything disappears in the mouse. The camera doesn't move anymore. Perfect. So now we're in the toast shop settings. So now from here, you can go into tuning, right? Or you can you can do more toast traps. But you can go into tuning and then you can change the stretch, the dampness, the dampness. Oh, what the hell? Uh, the stretch and then the strength. So right now it's at two twenty thousand newtons. I have no idea what that is in pounds. Would look it up, but I'm not going to. So I mean, we can just keep it at stock and see what the uh, what the what it can handle. Um, we'll drive around for a bit, and then once we've had enough and we've crashed this thing, we'll do another test with the actual beam nodes and go from there. So. Uh, right off the bat, my computer isn't that strong, so the fact that it's able to handle this, you know, handle the physics of the straps, is, is a good sign. So it's it's honestly pretty cool. Let me go into second gear. The Stambeco does feel the weight. That is pretty cool. Uh, but, I mean, they're working as they should. I can hard break. Oh, that is so cool, dude. Finally, and I'm so glad you could just. What in the heck? Some of these achievements <laughs> just ruined my footage because my recording software just sees it. Okay, let me switch to this because if that happens again, I'm gonna lose my my marbles. All right, hopefully it doesn't do that again. I do apologize, but I don't know if the recording caught what it did. But if I just break, look at that, dude. It's functioning just like it's supposed to, like a normal strap. I don't know why it took two years of me. <laughs> nah, I wouldn't even say I'm, I was a contributor to this. Now, I I solely believe that people like this that make these mods are just, dude, like, this is like quality of life right here. Like, you can put this in, like, a server when it's fully done. You know, I'm sure in the future there's going to be some better mods to... There's some updates to this mod that will, uh, you know, just make it work better. But the fact that I can use a little little snowball guy to just put him on there, that was so easy, man. You had to, like, use the node grips before, and it was just a nightmare. Oh, no. Okay, that's, that's handling it pretty well. Um, and that's stock everything. Like, I didn't change any of the... I didn't change any of the settings, so... Uh, we put something like, oh, we should try a T-Series. <gasps> oh, that'd be nice. See how the straps do with the T-Series. So yeah, so good so far. I think I am going to, I'm going to snuff it or stuff it pretty soon here. We just have to find a little bit of a better little area to crash. I mean, look at how this is performing, dude. Now don't get me wrong, right? There is there is another way to strap things down in the stocking. And that's using the, the nodes and clipping it. But when you do nodes, it pulls on the vehicle, right? So then it doesn't look as good. Like this one, you see the vehicle is, is springy, it's bouncing. Let's crash in this one. Yeah, I mean look at that. It's still attached. The front one is gone. Okay, yeah, the front one's gone, but the back one is still on there. So I mean that's that's what it's supposed to do though. It's a it's not an <laughs> invincible strap. So let's let's reset everything. Oh, that's funny. We're back where we were. <laughs> Let me reset this as well. 
Uh, let me delete the straps for now, right? Wait, I can just do. I was already there. I may as well. I know, I'm getting better at using this menu. We just remove those. Let's just reset this bad boy. Okay, well, let's reset you upwards. I don't know why you thought that was the best idea. Uh, let's put you back on the car or on the trailer. I think there's an option to turn that off, where it like moves the vehicle when you're in free cam mode. Just haven't figured that out yet. Okay, so the other option, which is definitely much easier, um, and it and it works a lot. I guess it works more often than not, and it's less buggy. Uh, so if you node clip right, you turn the strength down to zero. You can choose any of the nodes, like on the trailer. So I'll just choose this one. Oh, that's the strap. Oh my god. Where'd that come from? What? No, don't come off. Wait, where did those straps come from? I deleted them. Why is my camera <laughs> weird? I'm really confused. Okay guys, I was trying to figure out what was going on with these straps that just randomly appeared. So apparently when you... Part of the mod is when you hit straps right here. It actually just spawns in the straps as part of the trailer. So it gives you just four straps that you can use, which is pretty cool. Does it give you options to, yeah, strap. It gives you options to, to kind of, you know, do the thing. Oh my gosh, I was literally going to say, the coupler should, you should be able to change the coupler height. Oh, that is actually amazing, dude. I was literally like, there's no way to like change the height. And it's just in the configs, dude. Don't you love when this game just like gives just so good? <laughs> uh, okay, let's uh, we can obviously tell I'm having a lot of fun. <laughs> okay, let's okay, the trailer is reset, which is is a bummer because we don't we're not using those straps at the at the moment. I just want to show you guys the difference between the two. Oh my gosh, this thing is in reverse. You ready for a, a back flipsies? Can I can I land it? Oh, I, I kind of landed that one. That one was all right. Oh, so close, dude. <laughs> okay, let's let's uh let's get back to the subject at matter. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um. Well, luckily for us, we're going to be put in a tow truck soon. Okay, so I have a wrecked <laughs> side by side here. Um, I don't know what's going on with the suspension, but the front is really high up. Uh, what I was trying to do before, before I got sidetracked, is if you use uh, the stock, if you use the, the stock, uh, you know, the BeamNG nodes, they work great. They do work. I mean, I, I will give them that, but it does that. See, it, it kind of pulls. And that was my fault. If you click in D nodes, then hold up. Can I just pull this off then? No, it's still noted in there. Hold up. There it is, okay. Uh, let's do like the back here. You do it at zero and then you middle click. So see how it holds on? Which is good. I mean, it works. It's what I've been doing for years, but see, see it does that. And that just drives me crazy, dude. Ugh. But no, these, these straps are amazing. And now that you can spawn them in with the trailer, I'll save a few presets with them like that. So when I do have to work on something, I can just <laughs> Let's uh let's test out this uh, setup. I gotta raise. Oh, a cool little like uh, life hack. If the legs go down on you when you you know attach a node, just unhook the trailer and hook it back up, and it will automatically bring the legs up. You don't have to uh, do it. But yeah, that's uh that's it for that. Let's crash this thing now. This thing is a tank. It will not come off. Um, just because of the way the nodes are. There's no like tension, you know. But no, that that mod is honestly amazing. It's a really cool mod. Oh, I'm I'm actually maxed out. That's so that's kind of embarrassing. All right, so we're just gonna drive casually through this through the city, uh, and just kind of crash this thing. I will try to put a T series on here. 
I am gonna do that. I think this tobacco can do it with no problem. I would turn on traffic, but I'd rather have quality footage than like laggy one. But yeah, that 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 thing is not going to me. Ooh, can I get out of that? Let's see, what can I do before I burn? There it is. Oh, my transfer case is in low. Why is it doing? People are like, you're in low gear. Yeah, but see now, now look, we've been through a couple accidents, and look at the look at the side by side. It's like deformed now. Oh no! Oh my god! Well, uh, that's not good. Okay, we can just leave the uh, we can leave the <laughs> the side by side right there. Could you imagine like getting out of your house? What in the world? <laughs> All right, let's just park this bad boy right here. We'll put it on the trailer legitimately. So we bring down a slow, slow. How did I say it? slow, slow tilt trailer? I think I said it easier. That guys do smash the like button. Uh, I am trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. I think it can be done. Um, I'm gonna try to keep uploading every other day on weekends or on weekdays. Um, that's the goal. So definitely, if you're enjoying the videos, please. Please, please, please hit that subscribe button. It helps out tremendously. You guys will make my dream come true. Becoming a full-time YouTuber in the best Beam and G YouTuber in the YouTube world. So let's uh, let's find a T-Series. Or should we do a B-Series? Because the T-Series is kind of garbage. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I think we have to do a B-Series. I just, the B-Series is like my friend. Just love the B-Series. Alright, let's try. Should we do the oversized load? Or the mining? Ooh, the mining looks cool. Spawn new. Let's see how long this thing is. Ah! Uh, we gonna need a bigger trailer. <laughs> Oh man, okay, I've committed to this thing, so we just need a bigger trailer. So if you guys are stick around, this is definitely going to be the thumbnail, so. Let's, uh, is this the trailer? No. This one's perfect. Let's go over here to vehicles, and we will... Should we do a 40-footer? I don't think we need a 40-footer. I want it to be snug, you know? Make it look like it's bigger than it is. Oh yeah, 30 foot should be... F mm. I say that, but with hesitation. Yeah, that's fine. Oh no, wait, I gotta do this first. Vehicles. Vehicle config. Deck. Bumper? No, load. Strats. Perfect. Okay, so the other four right there. So that's that's the only thing. If the vehicle is covering it, how will that work? All right, we'll find out. We'll, it's a learning curve, right? I'll edit anything out that's obnoxious, but let's hook this up. Okay, we'll turn on the e-brake. All right, we can get out of the vehicle config screen. Let's bring. The trailer all the way down again. All right, we are almost there. Perfect. Let's tap into the B series. B stands for beautiful. That's what this truck is. We'll go to reverse two. This thing has a huge weight on the front. I may have to put it in backwards, but we will see. This thing is definitely heavier than it's supposed to be uh, okay um <laughs> the door on the trailer I t okay te technically guys technically technically okay listen to me technically 
it's on there. Okay, that's that's the important part. Now, how we got it on there was unconventional, and probably should have gone with the heavier trip. But it's here now, and we're just gonna roll with it. Let's move it over a little bit. Uh, the likelihood of the stand back of pushing this thing is very slim. My hopes are not high right now. Let's uh, put this thing in drive because it's driving me crazy. Uh, let's turn it off. Perfect. We will, okay, we're in the trailer now. So let's find these little strappy guys and uh, we can strap on there. And strap one. You're right there, right? You want to make its way? Oh, dude, that's so good. <laughs> you don't understand the amount of, uh, I've wanted this for so long. Okay. Can I get you? Thank you. So the, this is the other issue. You have to be really close, which makes sense. You have to, like, practically touch it. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, let's come over here. Just look around. So Control W opens the, the config files. You just have to make yourself remember that you got to stop doing that. Um, okay, let's just let's try it this way. Oh, shoot. Okay, hold up. I goofed up. See what I'm saying? If you have it at 100%, you will, uh, you will definitely launch something. <laughs> so let's take that to 40. So I think that, that strap is gone. No worries. Mm. Let's shift this over a bit. Nope, too much. Oh, look, uncovered the next strap. Ta-da! Now, if I find one more strap, maybe on the ground, I think there's no, that's that one. I don't think it's looking too good, guys. Well, I feel bad for this time. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, out of the four straps, I only see two. But the weight of this thing, it ain't going nowhere. I could do a node from there to there, but that would be cheating. Okay, now let's go to yep, the poor guy right here. Come on, buddy. I feel so bad for you. All right, we're definitely gonna have to go low gear. Um, pray for these axles, guys. They are not gonna. What? It's doing it. Okay, let's. Before we goof this up, let's take some thumbnail photos. So if you guys are here. I will actually, what's the best side? This one. Uh, I'll kind of show you guys how I take my thumbnails. So sneak peek, insider special. Uh, the good, the, the key to a good thumbnail is not knowing what you're doing. If you remember from like 10 seconds ago, the only two straps on there is the two back ones. Because the two out of four is missing. So we're going to slow down a little bit. Zoom, zoom, zoom out, zoom out. Make sure we have a, a view of everything going on. I will try to catch it in slow motion. Uh, I am pretty proud of these straps. They uh, they seem to be hold, holding on really well. Uh, as far as like not crashing my game. Because I crashed twice last night while testing this. Uh, okay, there's a turn coming. I think we can go... Oh my gosh, as soon as I put it in high gear. Alright, can we get out of here in high gear though? The trailer is scraping me. Oh, poor thing. It has to go up this hill. Okay, no, it doesn't. Alright. Passing the city. We're going into the city. I feel like if I took the weight off that the front of this thing it would have been it would have handled this really nicely yep 
It doesn't know what gear it wants. Okay, okay, I need to go low gear. I'm starting to overheat, so it's losing power. No! No! Okay, we just have to let it let it do its thing. Since we have no power, we can just kind of coast. And then I'll turn around. Alright, so good so far. Let's restart the engine. Oh no! Oh, I hit reset. I'm so mad right now. Okay, I have reset the vehicle. Uh, I don't have the straps on. They kind of flew off when I was on the way over here. But at least we can get it up here now. Okay, perfect. We're just going to send it off this uh, little bridge right here. Well, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. And uh, <laughs> hope you enjoyed the video.